Hi there. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm in zone 6. 6A, Boston, north of Boston, in the street garden. It's um, going to be another really hot day out here. Uh, we're in the middle of a heat wave. We're expecting 100 degree temperatures again for like the fifth day in a row. It's a, it's like 5 a.m. Um, you can hear the still out here partying down the street because people are living, you know, living day in bed, night, <laughs> alive in heat like this. This is um, an urban neighborhood, so. So anyway, I wanted to talk about amaranth. I um, I had some, I have some interesting, interesting findings this year. I thought I'd share. So here's how I start my amaranth. <clears throat> I like to start my amaranth seeds. In, can you see that? Yeah. In a, um, this is just a mason jar. I have the vermiculite in it. And I just toss a bunch of amaranth seeds in, germinate them. Uh, they germinate very quickly. In the sp early spring, I just heat, pop them under a heat mat. And I grow them on right in here for, you know, a few weeks until they get their first set of true leaves. They actually need to be thin now that they're getting a little larger. These are a couple of different varieties of amaranth that I'm trying out now. One is, um, they're like more fall tones. Um, and uh, I'll be planting these out probably. They don't have their true leaves yet. I would think next week with very hot, very hot weather. So that's what I start with. And I want to show you some interesting findings um, of what I end up with in amaranth. And I, 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 I kind of love this plant. So here we go. So here's two amaranth that I have in ground. Uh, they've been here since spring. This is a full sun location. And uh, this first one is <clears throat> a green, just a green amaranth with the uh, twisty, more of a fall, you know, um, a cascade of, you'll see it in the other pot, what it looks like. This thing is putting on weight more in leaf before it's starting to flower. You can see a few of the flowers starting now. And I also have another variety down here, uh, red spikes. And again, it's slow to take off in the ground. Um, I'm sure by the end of the summer, they're going to be huge, but I'm surprised at how slow they are to take off. Look at my gumfrina, they're going nuts out there. Woohoo! <laughs> That's like three plants. Now I'd like to show you the same two varieties that I planted in, um, I think that's an eight inch pot around the same time. And you can see that the plant, both plants are producing much more, um, you know, much more flower early on, I think. I, and I'm not sure why that is. Actually, the red spikes, I cut that and used some of it in a uh, flower arrangement. There were flowers on it. So it's interesting how in the pot, it really is performing so much better. Um, I'm going to do this again next year, you know, because this was kind of a one-off. I didn't expect this to be this way. So I didn't want to share it.